A um, square matrix being invertible is equivalent to many other properties. If we try to summarize all of these in a single video, it would be monstrously long. So we'll state and prove a few properties at a time. We'll start with a theorem that we have already stated and proven. A square matrix A is invertible if and only if Gauss-Jordan elimination turns it into the identity matrix. Our next theorem a square matrix A, a square N by N matrix, is row equivalent to I if and only if it has N pivot positions. We haven't proven this yet, but we've given a partial proof. We've gone in this direction. This is from a previous video that if a square n by n matrix has n pivot positions, then when you put it into reduced row echelon form, you get the identity matrix. I mean, I say we proved it. We provided an argument for it. So let's go the other way. Well, this is pretty much immediate. If A is row equivalent to I, then Gauss-Jordan elimination gives us the identity matrix. These ones down the diagonal are pivot positions, and an n by n matrix has n pivot positions. Therefore, if A is row equivalent to I, it has n pivot positions. Let's end this video here, but before we do, let's consider what we've done. Our first theorem is that a matrix is invertible if and only if it's row equivalent to I. Our second theorem is that it's row equivalent to I if and only if it has N pivot positions. Those two facts together tell us that a matrix is invertible if and only if it has n pivot positions. So we've stated two theorems, but we got a third one for free. We could summarize that by saying that the following are equivalent. A being invertible, A being row equivalent to I, and A having N pivot positions. And as we move through the rest of this section, we're going to add to this list.